every minute, 300 hours of video is uploaded to YouTube, and almost 5 billion videos are watched every single day. But sometimes, YouTubers get caught in the source. This leads to them doing things which later get them arrested. From famous YouTubers who made really dumb mistakes, to smaller YouTubers trying to uncover government secrets and getting busted for it. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at videos that got YouTubers arrested. Before I get arrested, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Area 51 Raid September 20th, 2019 That was supposed to be the day when we finally learned the secrets. What is Area 51, the secret US military base actually hiding? 2.5 million people said they would go to the Storm Area 51 event on Facebook. In reality, only 1,500 people showed up, but seven people were arrested in the raid. This included two Dutch YouTubers, Govert Charles Wilhelmus Jacob Sweep, 21, and Thijs Granzier, 20, were arrested. They got three miles deep into Area 51. They wanted to find out if UFOs were really inside this military base. They saw the no trespassing signs, but went ahead anyway. They were arrested and had to spend three days in county jail. They also paid a $2,280 fine. They also had to give up all of their equipment. This included their cameras, phones, and laptops. In the United States, trespassing is a crime, but thankfully after paying the fine, they were released. I think they're gonna have trouble getting back into the USA after this though. But you have to give it to them, at least they had the guts to actually try and get into Area 51. Hopefully one day we do get in there and find out what's really going on. Jake Paul this one is hot off the press, and it happened only 16 hours ago. Recently, there have been massive protests all over the USA and the world. Jake Paul, one of the biggest YouTubers on the website, actually was involved in these protests. Charges were filed against Jake Paul on June 13th. That is for criminal trespassing and unlawful assembly. But a new video appears to show Jake Paul getting put in the back of a police car. The person recording says, we're on it, we're on it, dude and they're basically assuring him that they'll get him out of custody and pay his bail. Well, we're on, we're on it, dude. Hello? Jesus. According to many, Jake Paul was caught rioting. It's not the first time Jake Paul has been in trouble with the law. He got in trouble back in 2017 for trying a 24-hour overnight challenge at the White House. But some say that Jake Paul now may be facing jail time for the protesting he did. Hannah Sabata when it comes to breaking the law, one of the trickiest things to do is rob a bank. Almost all bank robbers are caught because it's a very obvious thing to do. The main way they're caught is security camera footage in the banks. But one female bank robber evaded those cameras, and instead was caught thanks to her own camera. Hannah Sabata is from Nebraska, USA. She went into a bank and robbed them of $6,000. Amazingly, the student later posted a YouTube video boasting about her bank robbery. The 19-year-old said her crime spree was the best day of her life. Her video only got 7,000 views before she was identified and arrested. You can see her waving a big wad of cash. And using handwritten notes, she explains what she did. She also shows the car keys of a stolen Pontiac car. The York County Sheriff, Dale Radcliffe, said all but $30 of the stolen money has been recovered. The funny thing is, she actually wore the same clothing in the video as she did when she was robbing the bank. It's almost as if she wanted to be caught. After she was arrested, she was taken to York County Jail, where she remains today. One pro tip is, if you steal a bunch of money, don't record a video saying you did so and post it on the internet. Vitali. Vitaly's EDTV is a prank channel on YouTube, and he's a YouTuber who stirs up a lot of opinion, good and bad. In 2012, he was arrested in Boca Raton, Florida. This was for a video named Russian Hitman Prank Gone Wrong. The video has over 3 million views. In it, he approaches a man and pretends that he has a bomb. Now, of course, this was fake, but he was later arrested for having a fake bomb. He was also arrested in 2016. This was when he ran onto the court of a basketball game. It was game four of the NBA Finals. The Cleveland Cavaliers were up against the Golden State Warriors. And that's when a shirtless Vitaly ran on with a Trump message. He was also arrested for another video in 2014. This was when he ran to the field during the World Cup. This was to promote his movie Natural Born Prankster. Ali Law Ali Law is a famous UK YouTuber. He's known for his amazing and scary videos where he climbs up buildings. That is actually not illegal because trespassing is not against the law in the UK. However, putting you and others in danger is. That's why in 2019, he was arrested after climbing the Queen's Ferry Crossing Bridge. This is a gigantic $1.4 billion bridge. 
He did this for a YouTube video, and in 2017, while filming a different YouTube video, he was arrested again. This was for allegedly stealing a cup of tea at Gatwick Airport. That might be the most British crime on this list. Ali Law has been arrested so many times he almost can't film in the UK anymore. But it seems nothing will stop this YouTuber. Arab Andy Arab Andy is a famous YouTube prankster, but in 2018 he was arrested after a bomb prank. He walked into a classroom at the University of Washington. He then played a text-to-speech message, saying that a bomb would go off. He said it would be one of his biggest live streams yet. But unfortunately for him, he was arrested by the University of Washington police. It said the text-to-speech said that the C4 is charged. People then ran out of the room and even activated the fire alarm. Of course, something like this is not protected by the American First Amendment. And it's actually a Class B felony, which can land you in prison for 10 years or a $20,000 fine. James Brady Free jumping is a very fun thing to watch on the internet, but in the USA it's also against the law. In 2014, a YouTuber named James Brady was arrested. This was after him and three friends jumped off the One World Trade Center in New York. It is the largest building in New York, and they climbed up it and used parachutes to jump off. They defended their stunt, saying they were showing a hole in the security, but the Port Authority said it was lawless and selfish. James Brady, along with Andrew Rossig, Kyle Hartwell, and Marco Markovic, were arrested. On that note, a few years back, a teenager was arrested after climbing the same building. He also got past security and took this amazing selfie. It seems this building really does need to get better security. Saudi YouTubers Saudi Arabia is a very rich country, but like any country, there are problems. In March of 2014, three people were arrested after posting YouTube videos. The Saudi citizens were arrested for criticizing the government on YouTube. They said that the oil-rich country should improve their living standards, and they also criticized the government for being corrupt. This happened on the same day that Barack Obama left the country after a trip there. Many criticized him, saying he didn't do more to be critical of these arrests. The Saudi citizens who were arrested posted various videos. In one 30 second video, a Saudi citizen said he was sick of the government. He also held up his ID card and said, arrest me if you want to. In another video, a citizen said that people are hungry here. The men were arrested and charged by the Saudi police, but we don't have any updates as to what happened after that. Let's hope they're okay. Sam Moller. In June of 2015, this 18 year old from New Jersey, USA was arrested. This was after he posted a video on YouTube of him breaking into the Firefly Music Festival. Cops said they heard about the video a few days after the festival happened. The video was called How to Actually Sneak Into a Music Festival. Now, he actually wouldn't have been identified from his YouTube channel. That's because he didn't use his real name in the channel. But he made the mistake of also posting the video to his personal Facebook. That's what allowed police to tie him to the YouTube video and arrest him. He was charged with trespassing and theft and he had to pay a $1,500 fine. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which YouTube arrest surprised you the most. If you want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.